Hey y'all, welcome back to White Man's Livestock. Now in this episode, we're going to talk about the signs of African swine fever. There's a huge outbreak right now in Europe and Asia, and it's something we all need to keep our eye out to make sure that we don't run into those issues here in the United States. Stay tuned, it's coming up. Hey y'all, welcome back to White Mountains Livestock. First off, if you're new here, I want to say welcome. Don't be a stranger. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification icon, that way you're notified when we get another video up. Now, I know things look a little bit different right now. It's raining cats and dogs outside, it's muddy, it's cold, it's nasty. I'm shooting this thing inside today, where I can be a little more comfortable with my cup of coffee. Now. But like I said in the intro, I want to discuss the signs of African swine fever. It's a huge issue right now overseas in Asia, uh, throughout Europe. China alone has been decimated by this thing. Okay, there's no cure for it. It is what it is. There's no vaccination. There's no cure. Um, so there's a couple of signs that you want to keep an eye out for. Uh, there's a high fever. There's decreased appetite and weakness, red and blotchy skin lesions, diarrhea and vomiting, coughing, and difficulty breathing. Okay, those are the signs of African swine fever. Now, the USDA uh, is actually telling uh, uh, accredited veterinarians to review uh, and uh, assess the biosecurity plans of pork producers. Now, us as pork producers, we've got to be very, very careful with our biosecurity to minimize the risk of this thing. Now, it can be, it can be carried on uh, people. It can be carried on food. So if there's an infected hog that goes to the plant, gets processed, that animal slips through the cracks, gets out, it can end up in the grocery store and on your table. Now, the problem now... The, uh, the problem with that is say you come over to our place, okay? You come out here at our ranch and you're going to go out you're going to look at the hogs. And you got a ham sandwich in your hand. So everybody likes a ham sandwich, right? Well, if that ha uh, hog that that ham came from was infected, you can now spread it to all the other hogs around here. You can also carry it on your clothes, on your person. Now... I know at this point you're probably freaking out a little bit don't worry african swine fever is not going to kill you it's not going to make you sick it's not going to do anything like that it's not going to have an effect on people it only has an effect on swine okay now there is there are i believe four cases confirmed uh a couple of months ago up in the northeast uh, Michigan, I think, had three at one of the fairs, and I think there was one, one or two cases confirmed in Indiana. However, those animals were already in a quarantine, uh, were already quarantined, and they were euthanized uh, quickly. So, other than that, there's no cases of African swine flu confirmed in the United States at this point. But that doesn't mean that there it is out there and just not been reported okay that is possible a lot of your backyard uh, farmers and stuff like that you know that may raise it for their own uh, family's table their hogs could get it and they won't report it they don't know their hogs just get sick and they die that's all they know okay now there are some backyard breeders who, who do their raise their own hogs that keep up to speed with all this stuff going on and that's good if you're raising your own hogs you know for your own table you want to make sure you're keeping up on what's going on in the world with with these swine diseases okay check for foot and mouth disease check for african swine flu check for classic swine flu check for prrs you know there's all these diseases you want to keep an eye out for it sucks but it's just the way it is now we want to minimize the risk of these things getting into the United States because it can decimate our entire hog production. The, the whole industry, it can bring it to its knees. China itself consumes, what was it, 11 and a half billion metric tons of pork last year alone. This year, 
they're begging countries to import it to them because they've had to cull close to 90% of all of the hogs in China. It's bad, y'all. Now, the USDA's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service does urge anyone who suspects sick pigs to report it immediately to their vet or to the state or federal animal health officials. Okay, so if you have hogs in your property and they're getting sick, showing any of those signs, okay, I'm going to put the number right here on the bottom. I'm also going to put it in the description below. If you can't get a hold of your vet, the USDA's hotline to report for an animal disease is 1-866-536-7593. Okay. You want to make sure that that gets reported. And the reason is, if you've got an outbreak and you don't report it, none of us who are raising these hogs have any idea that you have an outbreak. Once you report it, all the USDA-affiliated uh, vets will receive notification. Now, we deal more with Arizona Department of Agriculture rather than the USDA because we're not sending anything out of state at this point. We keep everything local. But when there's an outbreak in the state, the USDA will contact this each state Department of Agriculture who will contact all of the vets. Well, if you've got swine, your vet should contact you and let you know that there's been a disease outbreak. And all this should happen pretty quickly. Our vet, as soon as he gets notified, will know within a couple of hours. So... You, you want to make sure that you're keeping on, you know, keep in touch with your vet. Let your vet know, hey, you know, we got hogs. If you hear of any kind of an outbreak, please give us a call. Let us know so we can be warned. You want to make sure your biosecurity is in practice. Now, as of today, uh, September 23rd, the USDA is, uh, they're doing a mock run of an African swine flu outbreak. <clears throat> so what that means and what they want is they want all the pork producers in the top 10 pork producing states in the country to review and really, really scrutinize your biosecurity plans, your biosecurity training of your employees if you have any. Okay, they want you to really dig, dig into it deep. They want you to simulate what happens if there is an African swine flu outbreak in your herd. How do you handle that? They want you to simulate it. They want you to practice all of that. Okay? Because as we all know, in crap times, if you've practiced, you're better prepared and you know how to handle things. Same thing, same reason we all did fire drills as a kid at school. You know, it was more than just to get us out of class for a little bit. All right? So anyway, y'all, I just wanted to cut that really quick just let you guys know if you want more information on african swine flu uh partner resources any additional resources if you're a producer uh and or a veterinarian you can get them on the aphis uh, african swine flu webpage and in an infographic i will leave link both in the description below um both of them are uh from the usda so hopefully to help you guys out Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for stopping by. It's good to see you again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon while you're here. And I will get those linked out uh, in the description below. Check those out. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think and what you've heard about African swine flu going on right now in the world. All right? Let me know in the comments below. I look forward to reading them, and I'll catch you all next time. Mm -hmm.